In this video, I'll be showing you the key indicator system on the CDJ2000 Nexus. The key indicator shows you which tracks have a matching musical key, and this is great for creating harmonic mixes. So, as you can see, this deck here we have playing, the key is displayed in the top right hand corner. There's a logo for the key, and then a DM as this track is in D minor. If we're looking for a track to bring in, we can browse through our tracks here, and on the right hand side we've got all the keys displayed, and the ones that match are, are illuminated in green. So we simply scroll to one we want, one that matches, this one here, and we know this mix is going to be completely harmonic. Before using the key indicator system, there's a couple of things you need to do. You need to analyse your music within Rekordbox to find each track's musical key. Simply right click each track and then click Analyse Key. The key will then be displayed in the column on Rekordbox. Secondly, you'll need to set the second column on the CDJ to Key. To do this, go to Preferences, click on Export and then click on the Column tab. Set the column to Key. This will then display the right hand column on the CDJ as the key. Once you've done this, you'll need to re-export your tracks to update the key information on your device. This will also apply all of the column settings. When you scroll through your tracks on the CDJ, you will now be able to see their key. Now you know how to find a track's key, and you've found a track to mix in with a matching key, you need to beat match them together. Obviously this means changing the speed of the track, and just by going up or down by 6% will change the key by one semitone. So this means a 1 or 2% pitch increase or decrease can start to change the key. This can make your mix sound discordant. To get a perfectly harmonic mix, regardless of the speed, switch on Master Tempo, which locks the song to the original key. And because we've upgraded the DSP and algorithm, the master tempo function can go unnoticed right up to plus or minus 10%. One more really useful thing about the master tempo is that you can disguise a really obvious pitch bend sound while you're in the mix. 